Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am going to talk about Fury. Fury is a new Brad Pitt war movie starring, uh, starring, uh, Brad Pitt. <laughs> uh, it's directed by David Ayer, who directed, uh, End of Watch, Harsh Times, uh, Street Kings, I think, is one of the films he directed, and most recently this year, Sabotage, with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and, uh, yeah, uh, this is a World War II film, and the story is about these tank guys, led by this guy, I think his name is War Daddy, played by Brad Pitt, and him, Logan Lerman, Shia LaBeouf, John Barenthal, and who else, who else, who else, who else, what's his name, what's his name, uh, not Sean Barron, uh, Michael Pena, Michael Pena. All have to be part of a tank and through World War Two, and they have to go to cities. They it's about them with the tank. Uh, it's based off of World War Two. There's a new guy that comes in, played by Logan Lerman. He's a typist. He's not really trained for this, and he comes in. And yeah, I was looking forward to this movie. One, I'm a big fan of war movies. I like war movies. I like World War Two movies, and this is. We haven't gotten a, world, a good World War II movie for a while, and this looked good. And one, Brad Pitt's a great actor. I love Brad Pitt, as you can see. I, I I love love Brad Pitt. I think he's one he's one of my favorite actors. He's he's one he's one of the best we have. And uh, yeah, Logan Lerman's a great up and, up and coming actor. Shia LaBeouf is very talented. He, even though he's a little crazy and he does pick the wrong roles from time to time, he is really good. Uh, and uh, John Barenthal was really good in Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, Michael Pena is always really good. Uh, yeah, so really good cast, uh, really good set setting. Uh, I like David Ayer's first movie, Harsh Times, uh, and he also wrote Training Day, which I love that movie. And yeah, he's 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 great. I I'm a big fan of him. Uh, and he's directing Suicide Squad, and I like this movie. Yeah, I thought there were some great parts to it. I thought there were some slow parts to it, and there was some pretty generic stuff. One, the story was really, really generic. It was, it's a, just a generic, generic war story. Nothing, nothing special. I mean, yeah, it, it's like the generic, and, and the ending without giving anything away is so Saving Private Ryan. But however, this is, and the writing is a bit, like, cheesy. Like, uh, like, there's some stupid lines. There's some funny lines, war banter. But however... This is a very well directed movie. I think David Ayer did a great job. It's not well paced, but I think the action scenes, the war scenes, look are really intense, really good, really dark, and yeah. And also, David Ayer does a great job showing the darkness of war. That's what I love. Is is how he shows the darkness of war. Uh, and this is more of a performance movie. Uh, there there are some really entertaining parts to it. There are some parts where I'm like okay, okay, the finale is really really good. The act, the characters with the like I said the ending story wise but like how the finale was shot was really good it was pretty generic but uh yeah Brad Pitt he's Brad Pitt of course he's gonna bring in a really good performance and he does he you you see something uh wow he he's definitely kind of an a-hole because of war and how because all these characters they're hardened by war and that's what I really like and you get to see that you get to see every character hardened by war except for Logan Lerman but he's because he's the new guy, but yeah, uh, you do see a lot of humanity towards the characters, even though for for quite a bit you don't see that. But then you they eventually start growing on you and start liking them. Uh, John Barenthal was really good. Uh, Shia LaBeouf, uh, Michael Pena. Shia LaBeouf actually really surprised me. I thought he had a really good role. And he's not like no 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 no. Uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, Logan Lerman's great as well. Anyways, getting back to Brad Pitt, he's a great lead. He's great. He's he has a really good story. You can tell that there's something wrong with, with him in his life, and I really like that. And they all have some funny lines with one another, like I said. They had they have quite a witty comeback with each other, yeah. And, yeah, this is a really dark movie, and I guess I'm excited for Suicide Squad. Like I said, it is slow at parts, but overall, I really, I, I, I really liked it. Uh, I'm going to give it a B plus. I think it's a very good war film with some great, great parts, but some not so great parts but yeah I, a little disappointing but still a very good uh competent movie nothing really oscar contender uh but yeah uh like i said logan lerman's great in it but yeah uh
I recommend checking it out in the theater just to watch the war scenes. And yeah, that's my review, guys. Like, subscribe, and bye bye.